it's Alaska Granny. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best barbecue chicken ever. It's very simple, it's easy, and it's very delicious. And it's great if you want to have some nice high quality food for a crowd such as uh, potlucks, Super Bowl parties, things like that. You only need three simple things. You need drumsticks, Creole seasoning, and smoke because barbecue isn't barbecue without smoke. So whether you're using a smoker, a charcoal grill, or what I'm going to do today is use a gas grill and add apply smoke techniques to that, and these are going to be great. You're going to love it. The first thing we want to do is prepare the chicken. You want to uh, figure three drumsticks per person, and then we want to remove the skin because the skin is not good for you and it doesn't allow the rub to penetrate the meat so it doesn't give it all the same flavor and you're not making uh, fried chicken so you want to take your drumstick hold it on the meaty end then take a paper towel and grab a hold of the skin and then pull it off it should come off in one piece and slide right off of the bone and there you have your drumstick I've removed all the skin so my chicken is prepared and now I'm going to apply a dry rub and you sprinkle the dry rub you don't rub it you sprinkle it and allow it to saturate itself into the meat you need to let it sit for at least four hours and overnight is best but if you wake up in the morning and you're having guests later this is an easy recipe you can do in one day so you want to get your favorite Creole seasoning I used to mix some and I tried lots of them and the one that my family prefers is the Emerald's Essence and so that's what I'm going to use today and it's great because I can go to the store, I can grab chicken, I can grab a bottle of this and go home and get busy preparing this. It's so simple. So you take your rub and you sprinkle it evenly over the chicken. I finished applying the rub so I'm going to take my tongs out and turn each one over and apply the rub to the other side. So carefully turn them over. Once you get them all flipped over, then you take your dry rub and you sprinkle it thoroughly on and lightly on this side too. I finished putting on the rub. Now I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. Know that you can leave it for four hours up to 24 hours, but you're not supposed to ever put cold meat directly into the smoker. So however long you're going to do it, make sure you take it out of the refrigerator one hour before you're going to put it in the smoker so that it can come up closer to room temperature when you put it in your smoker. It's about 15 minutes until I want to begin to cook my chicken. So I've turned my grill on to the lowest, uh, just the one burner to the lowest temperature. And I'm going to put in my tray of chips right over the unit that's going. Then I'm going to close this down to get all the smoke and heat in here. It should be at about 300 degrees, which is the perfect temperature for cooking chicken. It's been about 15 minutes. It's come up to temperature. The smoke is smelling delicious. I'm going to put the chicken on. Don't add any sauce to like the last 10 or 15 minutes. And put it on quickly so that you shut it and don't let all your heat and smoke escape. All the chicken's on. I'm going to come back and check it in 15 minutes. It's been about half of the time, so I'm going to turn these over to get them grilling on the other side. There are about 15 minutes left, so I'm brushing the sauce onto the chicken. You don't want to do it before that because it will just burn, and this way it will meld with the smoke and make it extra delicious. It's been about an hour. The chicken is done when it's 185 degrees. When the meat is firm, the juices run clear and the meat pulls away from the bone. Be sure you use a perfectly clean dish and tongs. Don't use the ones you use with the raw chicken. And if there was any leftover sauce, 
discard it because you've touched raw meat with it. This is going to be so delicious. This is a real crowd pleaser. Get it into your pan. Get ready to take it to the table, to a party, and you are going to amaze your friends and yourself at how delicious this is. Try making the chicken like this, and please subscribe to Alaska Granny, and have a wonderful day.